Hey guys, Captain Foley with you. How you doing today? Uh, a few exciting things to talk about today. So, if you watched my video last night where I took a merry adventure to the drugstore to get myself some pain medication and some sleeping aids, then you'll know that it's an exciting video today. And if you haven't watched last night's video, I'm here to tell you that it's an exciting video today. There's a few things to talk about, so let's get right down to that. First of all, let's do a quick little update on this. Now, as you may know, as you may remember, the main deflector dish on this um, Bandai Snap Together Lit Enterprise uh, was clear. I have since painted it with the Tamiya Clear Blue, and now the deflector dish has a nice blue sheen to it. Um, I should have actually documented that video, but I didn't, so I apologize in advance, but there you have it. And this is going to be sitting here for the whole, during the whole, whole duration of my uh, 350 scale refit build. So it will be looked at and referenced a few times in those videos. So that's first on the agenda. Next, as some of you know, I don't only build Star Trek models, I also build Star Wars. I love science fiction, uh, World War II fighters, jet fighters. The only thing I don't really like building is air, or uh, cars, sorry, because they never really go together well for me. Um, this is just an example of one of my World War II fighters that I built years ago, and have a, it's been hanging in my son's room forever. So it's got some damage, it's fallen, it's been played with, but got some gun detail there, got my tracer rounds painted red, um, I'm missing one of the covers because it's in my son's room on the floor somewhere with all his Lego, so hopefully someday we'll find it. Um, I believe this is an F4 Hellcat some of the detail like I said not one of my best models but had a good time painting it uh, this is all done with brushes because uh, as you know I'm new to the airbrush scene and uh, hopefully we'll be learning about that very soon but there you have it now as you may or may not know also I'm a, um, go to a model club here in London Ontario and they're having a model show September 27th. So the next model show we have, um, early next month, we're told to bring in a few different models so that the people that are gonna be judging can kind of learn the points of judging, what they should look at, what they shouldn't look at. So I don't know if I should bring this in or not, whether it's uh, good enough quality. It's, I know there's a lot wrong with it, and a lot of these gentlemen are older gentlemen, uh, sticklers for detail, especially when it comes to military aircraft and ships, etc. So I don't know if I should really bring this in and embarrass myself, but it's an example of what not to do as far as judging goes, I guess, so I could bring it in. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, some of my favorite fighters are P-51 Mustang. Um, that is actually my favorite World War II fighter. I've built a model of it, which I'll have to show you at some other point. Um, Hawker Hurricane, Spitfire, uh, things like that. As far as f actual fighter jets go, F-14 Tomcat is my absolute favorite of all time. Um, so yeah, I've built a model of that as well, which I'll show you in a different video also. I have shown my plane models in a previous video. It's way back in the list, so check it out if you want. And uh, yeah, so just not confined to Star Trek here, guys. So let's move along, shall we? The next piece of business I want to address is this. This is my... Corgi Enterprise that I got from my friend Noel. Um, if you follow my channel regularly, you saw it in the Michigan Loot Crate unboxing. He sends me stuff all the time and I call it the Michigan Loot Crate because he's from Michigan and he always sends me the coolest stuff and I've been looking for this forever. It's a die cast metal. It's very heavy. Um, good detail. Nice little display piece. So it's going to be on my desk all the time. Um, so thank you Noel for that I really appreciate it it's one of my most treasured pieces because I've wanted one for quite a while so <coughs> moving right along as most of you know I am working on a 350 scale refit enterprise and I did a Raytheon vid lighting video the other day and I did a quick test on this one nacelle to check, check it out I used uh, regular masking tape cut out the shape for the uh, Raytheon lighting of the registry number on the outer side of the secondary hull, or the uh, engine here, 
And this is one coat of uh, light blocking paint on here. Now I want to show you what happens. As you can see, don't use cheap masking tape because that'll happen. It's not the end of the world, mind you. Um, let me quickly plug in my USB light here. So, if you know Star Trek, you know that the registry numbers on the back of the engines, back in the cells, light up. So it's going to be a nice warm glow coming from inside, shining on the registry number. It's going to look like it's from the outside of the ship, but it's actually from the inside because there's nowhere, the lighting kit I'm ordering, there's no spotlight that shines on it. So it's going to have to be internal Raytheon lighting. So as you can see here, that's how it's going to look roughly. This, um, where it leaked through the tape isn't really a big problem. I'm just going to sand that as I'm going to have to actually do with all the Raytheon lighting because one of the tips I got was once it's painted, instead of a crisp line here, you don't want that. What you want is kind of diffused look. So I'm going to have to use sandpaper and sand the edges of each of these anyway. So that's going to all be sanded out of there. There's going to be a lot of work done on these. There's going to be um, seams that have to be filled. Um, the lighting kit has to go in. The decals have to be put on. Uh, the outer side here is going to have um, the uh, pearlescent paint over it. Now the pearlescent won't won't act as a light blocker, so this, the light is still going to shine through on the registry number, so that should be fine. So you're going to be seeing these engines quite a bit. There's going to be a lot of work done to them. Like I said, uh, the lighting cast go in, they have to be assembled, they have to be seams filled, decals are painted, then decals put on, and they're going to look amazing when they're finished. But that's the one I've got done so far, just kind of as a test. And as you can see, when I do the other three, I'm going to be using actual green painter's tape so we don't have that same issue. So that's the next thing on the list. Now, for the final thing that I think is kind of kind of exciting. So I mentioned my lighting, or my lighting club, oh my God. This is like the fourth take for this video, by the way, just so you know. Anyway, <laughs> modeling club. Um, I met a guy there named uh, Dave, great guy. Um, I went to check out his workshop. He does resin casting, resin model building. He's a professional model builder and his shop is amazing. I was humbled when I went. Um, I don't claim to be professional. I'm far from it. I'm an amateur. I just enjoy model building and thought I'd do this channel so that people could follow along and learn with me and help me out, give me tips. So you're learning as I'm learning. I do what I can. Um, I know a lot of people like my lit TOS Enterprise. That was a work of love. I love the TOS Enterprise and I've always wanted one that's lit. So it is a beautiful piece. And it's actually the model that started this whole YouTube channel thing. Here it is. So I don't claim to be a professional. This is my first actual lit model. And uh, a lot of people liked it, and I started doing videos of it. I didn't document the build. Um, well, I did. I did it in still pictures. And I did a video of that after the fact but so I don't claim to be a professional model builder I mean this is pretty good a few things I know that are wrong on it I missed one or two scenes but overall a pretty good model I'm very passionate about Star Trek and uh, so I just wanted to do this channel so that you guys could follow along with me and learn and my see my Star Trek stuff learn the process of building etc etc and help me out so anyway let's get right back to the workshop as I was saying so this gentleman Dave um, everybody calls him Blappy so the name of his uh, website and company is called Blapp Models model making and resin casting here's his uh, website info and his uh, email and phone number in case you need to contact him he will do any resin kits uh, you'd like he'll duplicate parts for you cast them in resin whatever you guys want, need um, I will have a link to his website and a few other websites in the description below, so definitely check those out. Um, here's his website real quick here. 
Um, like I said, I went over there the other day and I was just humbled by his work. He's an amazing model builder. I feel like an amateur compared. He does, uh, sells website, or he sells resin kits here on his website. Um, science fact and science fiction. Um, he enters his models, he entered some in WonderCon, won some prizes, won some awards. Met Rick Sternbach, as we all know. Rick Sternbach is huge as far as Star Trek goes, the last couple of series of Star Trek. Um, I'm just quickly showing his website here so you can kind of get an idea of some of his work that's non-Star Trek related. And like I said, there'll be links to this in the description below, so please check them out for yourself. And if I mention anything in the during this video that's not in the description below, please comment and let me know. Well, like I said, I visited his house, which is about a 20 minute drive from my place the other day, and uh, this was on his mantle. It's a Federation fighter, um, seen a lot in Deep Space Nine, that uh, he has done in resin. Amazing kit. And he also has a Type 15 shuttle pod, 148 scale, that he has done. And uh, here's two examples of it. One's in the Federation um, colors, and the other is in the colors of his shop, with the blappy symbol on the side, which is really cool. So, so because I'm uh, promoting a site on my channel here, he gave me this promotional Type 15 shuttle pod resin kit to uh, put together. I can build it on the site here. And I'm new to resin, resin model building, so he's going to help me with the build, tell me what kind of glues I need, paints, etc., because they're different than regular uh, models that I build. And uh, there's another gentleman too, also, uh, I'll show you his uh, JBot here, jbot.ca, he does uh, custom decals. Um, anything you need, Star Trek, science fiction related, police, whatever, police department from your city, anything like that, he will do. So visit his website as well, check him out. Um, I'm promoting both of them, they're both in my model club and uh, they work together quite often. Now uh, Dave, he has a, a kind of like a guest workbench, I guess you'd call it, on his, uh, at his shop. And um, so I'm going to be doing a video or two from his, uh, his workspace because I'm going to be going there to build some of my 350 scale enterprise, get some tips from him, learn a few things. Um, I got a, There's a lot I can learn from this guy, so I'm going to be doing a lot of, or not a lot, but some videos from there as well. So you can uh, hear from him personally, check out some of his work, and also learn from him because I plan on doing that. But uh, here's uh, some parts from the kit. The shower kit now it's solid resin so it's really cool uh i've got some uh stuff i gotta sand off there there's the top there's the bottom of the shadow oops um also comes with the display stand which is cool and then the of course the nacelles there's a middle piece that goes between these two and then the top part um, Right up there. And I also have some examples of uh, JBot's decals here. You, know, you can see the uh, kind of work that he does. Now you can use the, you can name this shuttle quite a few things. We've got the Campbell, the Chris Pike, the Voltaire, the Elbaz, the Onizuka, the Heinlein, the Lay, the Lindbergh, the PT Farnsworth, uh, the Pike, Sam Friedel. Cochrane, Armstrong, Curie. Uh, it can be an Earth shuttle pod, Utopia Planitia, Starbase, um, Enterprise. So, very cool. And like I said, that's again, here's their websites. I will have links to them in the description below. If I've forgotten anything, please let me know because um, I would uh, want to add it for you guys. Um, so, just some quick uh, stuff about Dave. He's a resin kit manufacturer. A lot of his kits are sold on starshipmodeler.com as well as Fantastic Plastic Models website. And like I said, all these dis links will be in the description below. So, And if I forget them, please tell me because I, I don't want to forget anybody. Um, um, let's see here. He's done more for Fantastic Plastics than he can even list. 
Uh, he's done quite a bit of Star Trek uh, kits and sci-fi. He does builds up build ups for customers. Um, he has done some work for Alliance models that are sold on the Federation model website. Done a lot of patterns and castings for fantastic models. And he wanted me to mention too that he also cast a pattern and stuff for Black Sun models, which is at starshipmodeler.com as well. So, and a Stargazer model that are sold at, that's sold at Starship Modeler. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, he's also got a few Star Trek projects on the go that he's kind of keeping hush hush right now that um, I'm looking forward to him completing so that I can actually include them on the channel here and you guys can see that. And I think we're coming to a close. The video is getting kind of long and I'm eh, winded. My throat is sore from talking. Like I said, this is not the first take for this video. Uh, the first few were not successful in the least. So anyway, uh, we're wrapping it up right now. If I've forgotten anything, oh, I actually just really quick here. I know we're hitting the 16 minute mark. So um, here's the instructions for the Type 15 shuttle that come in the kit. This is sold. Um, I believe this is sold directly from his site, uh, as well as starshipmodeler.com, so check it out. So it kind of gives you the instructions here, and uh, decal placement, etc. And it's printed in color, which is really cool. So anyway guys, that is it for now. Uh, this is Captain Foley signing off. Uh, I want to bring this to a close, I don't want you getting bored, which you probably already are, so alright, I'll stop talking. <laughs> alright guys, thank you for tuning in. and. Uh, Check out the websites that are included in the link or the description below. Alright, bye-bye.